Welcome! This is the 21st in my series of climate mythbusters, and the myth I'm going to bust today is that global warming is a vast conspiracy. Well, let's go straight to the myth conception here. I could have chosen one of hundreds of different quotes, but I selected just three. There's the famous one by Senator Hinhoff, with all the hysteria, all the fear, all the phony science, could it be that man-made global warming is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people? The Lavoisier group called it an elaborate conspiracy in which hundreds of climate scientists have twisted their results in order to support the climate change theory to protect their research funding. Bill Gray, global warming is a multi-billion dollar worldwide industry created by the fanatically anti-industrial environmentalists. It's odd that Bill is claiming that a group of people have created an industry because they're anti-industry. Oh well. First you have to ask yourself how many people will be involved in such a conspiracy? 20,000 or so climatologists and meteorologists in the United States, probably hundreds of thousands worldwide. 36 National Academies of Sciences have endorsed the anthropogenic global warming model. And that would involve thousands of scientists in many different disciplines from all around the world also would have to be involved in this same conspiracy. Every professional scientific and engineering society in the US has endorsed that same model. So literally hundreds of thousands of scientists and engineers would also have to be involved in that same conspiracy. 36 Nobel laureates have all uh, claimed in the Manau Declaration that anthropogenic global warming is real and needs urgent attention. Then there's the thousands of climate experts that are involved in each of the five IPCC reports. They would have to be involved in this same conspiracy. And now we have 194 governments of 197 that have signed up to the Paris Accords. And so they'd all have to be involved too. Now we're talking literally millions of people all involved in a secret conspiracy just to fool you. And if you believe that, I have a suggestion for you. Next we should ask ourselves is what would such a conspiracy accomplish? Now according to the Lavoisier group it was funding, but that makes no sense whatsoever. Most scientists get their salaries no matter what they study or what conclusions they reach. Civil servants, for example, have permanent employment, so can't be influenced by politicians. In Europe we worked under a five-year rolling block grant, which had very much the same effect. University professors get most of their salaries from student tuition so again can't be influenced by outside forces. A lot of people point to government grants as the way of putting pressure on uh, scientists. However, that just shows they don't understand how government grants work. Those grants go mainly to postgrad and postdoctoral students and not the top researchers, the very ones that are issuing these warnings about anthropogenic global warming. When I worked in industry, uh, my salary came out of overhead. So again, I could study what I like and come to what conclusions I like without any outside influence. Some people say, oh, the scientists are trying to increase taxes. But what benefit would increased taxes have to scientists? They have to pay them. And then the other one is they're trying to create a world government. Again, how would scientists benefit from a world government? They wouldn't. So that doesn't make any sense at all either. We can see if governments have really affected the conclusions of the scientists by looking at the evolution of the estimates for global warming uh, by 2100 compared with the flavour of government in the US. The first IPCC report predicted a range of global temperatures from 2 to 6 degrees centigrade by 2100. Now I have to be a little careful here because that was above the 1765 average which uh, was a, a long time before any global warming started. That's a different baseline from the other ones. In 1995, when Clinton was president, the range was just about one to just about three and a half. In 2001, when Clinton was uh, still president, we went from just over one to just over four. In 2007, we had a range from just about one up to about three and a half. And in 2013, we went from about one to four and a half. So basically the, the last four reports have all been very consistent with one another. And so even though the governments have changed, the conclusions didn't. So what is motivating who to claim that global warming is a hoax? 
Well, let's follow the money. Earth Sciences is primarily funded by NASA and NOAA, and their total budget for that is $2.5 billion. But there are six departments in Earth Sciences, and climate is only one of them. So I estimate somewhere between $600 and $700 million goes to climate research. However, not all of that goes to the scientists. In fact, most of it goes to building satellites, instruments, maintaining ground station, collecting the data, archiving the data, and distributing the data. And all that money goes to the aerospace industry. Meanwhile, $775 billion in annual subsidies goes to the fossil fuel industry from governments around the world. Yet they only make $257 billion per year in profits. That says most of their operating costs are being covered by the taxpayers. So don't complain about $2.5 billion going to Earth Sciences when $775 billion is going to the fossil fuel industry. And that explains why they're so keen on trying to make you believe that global warming is a hoax because they're trying to protect those $775 billion in subsidies. So let's draw some conclusions from all of this. So where is the real conspiracy? I believe it lies in an attempt to attack science and fact-based decision-making. Don't think about this, feel about it. There are far too many people involved in global warming for a viable conspiracy to remain a secret. And besides which you can find no practical motivation for such a conspiracy. We can find no government interference because the scientific conclusions have remained the same no matter what flavour of government is in power. The anti-anthropogenic global warming arguments are meant to protect the fossil fuel industries which are making insane profits mainly off of the taxpayers. So when you see somebody posting a video about a vast conspiracy on global warming, please post a link to this video and tell them they're full of nonsense. Until next time, goodbye.